there, Johnny Daniel, your Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. So today is another one of those, hey, here's a bundle that's no longer going to be a bun bundle after May 1st. So just want to bring some attention to it. Here's the host code. Take a screenshot. Here's the host code that's going to be available for you through May 4th, which is in a couple Saturdays. And then we'll switch it to a different one. But we're going to be making this card today. So I want to show you how to make it. I've got some stuff pre-cut out to make it a little bit faster. But I want to show you some of the set as well. So the set is um, dies as well as trusty tools. Now the paper's not available anymore. So we could look on some retired stuff after the first. But hey, you know, it is what it is, right? So, um, just want to show you how to do a few things. Notice here there's some outlines. Those are so you can color without having to bring out a marker. So, isn't that awesome, right? So, let's get started. And let's see here. I do want to pull one more out, always, right? This little fringe one there. So if you didn't see that, I'm going to show you what it is, but um, I'm going to show you how to fill in first and then we'll get going on other stuff. So I'm grabbing my pecan pie and Azure Afternoon. So blue and brown for those of you that it doesn't matter, <laughs> but hey. All right, so I've got my paint. This I'm going to dip in my blue because I want my paint to be blue. Okay, so there's my blue. When you're going down, make sure to stay fairly straight, no rocking, just press straight down. Fill in my brown there. See how easy that is? Awesome, right? Then I've got my tip of my paintbrush here, and I can fill in with some paint. I missed a little bit. Let's see if we can get it a little further up. There we go. Easy enough, right? So there's that one. So I'm going to close those up. Love the fact that we can add to and add to and add to things. And if you don't want to do any of that and you just want to color it, just do the outline. It's just that simple. All right, now I'm going to use basic gray and we're going to grab our wrench here and our wrench. Okay, there's the outline. Okay, got it. And then, oh, that's not the right handle. Hold on. I put it on the wrong thing. So evidently, this is the right handle. So we're going to stamp off to make it lighter. And then I'm just going to line up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. There's, there's that one. And then if you want to do the hammer, there's my hammer. And then here's my, my handle for my hammer. We're going to do a little bit lighter. So we can still see the outline. And there we go. Super simple, right? So, all right, and then you would die cut these out. So let me show you. So, like we've got the paintbrush here. Okay, and you just run it through the machine and ready to go. So I already have some ready for you, you know, for the sake of time. So we're going to go through this. So I have here a thick basic white piece of thick cardstock and this is cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. Okay. Now I'm going to unfold it because I want to see that crease more, but I don't want to have to deal with it bobbing up and down. Just that simple. All right. So I've got a piece of Azure afternoon. This is cut at five by three and three quarter. Grab my stamp and seal, center it best I can, throw it on there. Okay. 
Now I'm going to turn this way because this is the way my card's going. I'm going to grab my pegboard, for lack of better terms. And this, got to figure out what ends up and which one's down. But honestly, it's whatever you deem, okay? So that's part of the die set. And then I've grabbed the holographic um, trio, the silver out of it. And then I just ran it through the um, metal plate embossing folder. And then I love the back side of this too. Look at that. Nice, almost, not lacy. I'm trying to think of the right, like almost like a pin cushion. Anyways, so there's that. But got to have that metal plate look if you're doing a workshop kind of thing, right? So there we go with that. All right, so I've already got my paintbrush, I've already got my hammer, I've already got my wrench, okay? So perfect for a masculine card, Father's Day, just somebody that doesn't fit in the mold, you know, all that stuff. So I'm actually using my mini dimensionals. If you don't wanna buy a pack of mini dimensionals, guess what you do? You grab your scissors and you just cut these guys in half and hey, they're smaller, right? So. I happen to have minis already here, so I'm gonna use them. But if you don't, feel free to use the scissors. Just make sure you got some goo gone at the end of it so you don't end up with gummy scissors. So then we're gonna grab here, grab here. I need one more, I think. So there's that. And then I've got a piece of, just a scrap piece of the Azure Afternoon turquoise <laughs> and I'm just going to throw this on here kind of try to make it even with the other side if you don't do that that's what scissors are for right just that simple now I'm gonna grab my bigger if you don't want it bigger don't use the bigger it's just that simple but these are the standard size dimensionals and now I'm gonna figure out how this goes on. So first I'm gonna grab my hammer, cause that's usually the tool I use, I will be honest with you. If all else fails, grab a bigger hammer, right? Is the saying. So I'm gonna grab here and throw that down. I'm gonna have my color in the middle. So I'm gonna put my paintbrush in the middle. I'm sure you could put a couple drops or something down below as if that paintbrush was dripping. It's up to you what you want to do. There's tons of stuff, right? Always. So then we've got peeling our backs off of these minis. And yeah, I think I'm gonna put this one up this way. Okay, so there's our decoration. And then I'm gonna peel these off. If you ever have trouble with these, grab them straight in the middle, stick your thumbnail down and one side will pop up, guaranteed. And then we've got here, and I'm gonna grab here, put that down, and now I've got this really cute Father's Day card. So, if you wanna order the set, you know what to do. There's the host code, or you could go on to stampinwithjohnny.com, go to catalog ordering, and you can get the link right off there. It'll go straight over for you. So thanks again for joining me and go create. I mean, that's what we're here to do, right? Make impact, go create and mail the card. So trusty tools uh, bundle right now, soon not to be. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.